A great deal of my life has been filled with incredible luck, for which I am forever grateful. But like my beloved St. Louis Cardinal, sometimes I can hit a rough patch. Back in March, I used my 2002 Subaru wagon as the course opening car at our national performance rally. On the last section, a few miles from the end, we hit a rock and bent the left rear suspension. Well, that's racing. And I don't really use the car day to day, so it's not terribly interfering with my life. But that's one car sitting in the wings. With my 2004 Subaru WRX tipping 170,000 miles, in January, I looked all over the country for the perfect used car. Found a 2016 WRX in red with leather interior and all the trimmings and only 16,000 miles. I bought it. Then coming home from an afternoon meeting in West County in early June, in my shiny new chariot, a young lady in a humongous Jeep stopped suddenly in front of me and I didn't. To the shop she goes. It's not back yet. It's July 16th as I record this. Less than 18,000 miles on it. I now have two cars incapacitated. Thank goodness I hadn't sold my trusty 04 yet. At least I have something to drive. Well, until coming home from playing a fun round of golf over in Illinois, the sky is twisted up into heavy winds, and just two minutes from my house, a branch flew out of a tree, dinging the hood and the roof and smashing my windshield. I own four Subarus, and three of them are sidelined simultaneously. What are the odds? Most of you know I organize high-speed performance rallies on remote gravel roads in rural Missouri. So back a week ago on July 9th, I was down investigating some new roads and managed to stick the only remaining car I have, my wife's Subaru Legacy, in 18 inches of water at a soft creek crossing for 40 minutes. Do you know what wet auto carpet smells like? While extremely fortunate to extract the car at all, we were 9 miles from the nearest main road, which is still 15 miles from the nearest town, it meant this car was going to be sitting in my garage for two days with the carpets lifted and industrial fans drying things out. That's four for four. So I'm driving a rental. Still, I can find humor in all this, because added to the sum of the fortune in my life, I'm still a lucky guy. I look forward to more luck, having calmed myself with focusing on all the best things that have happened to me in my life and letting those other things shrink by comparison. Sometimes when the proverbial stuff hits the fan, we can forget about how lucky we really are. My training, I call this lucking, the verb, to luck, lucking, the active skill of understanding that while we occasionally run into rough patches, our lives often can be better defined by all the fortunate things that have brought us to where we are today. Oh, and so as not to tempt fate, I've not been to any casinos lately. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.